I first heard about the problem of microplastic pollution, I really wanted to do whatever I could to even try to make it a little bit better. My name is Anna Dew and I'm from Massachusetts and for the past few years I've been trying to tackle the big world problem of microplastic pollution. Really microplastics poses a much larger danger for the environment than larger pieces of plastics do. So microplastics are essentially plastics that are smaller than five millimeters. Not only is it a lot smaller so of course it's uh, pretty hard to clean up but also a lot of people just aren't really aware of how damaging microplastics can be. Small fish eat these microplastics and then the those bigger fish will eat a bunch of those smaller fish. By the time that those fish reaches our plates, there's really a lot of toxins and a lot of microplastics inside. I've always loved science and engineering, and I've always loved building things. I really started working on this uh, project when I was 12. I designed a remotely operated vehicle, or I call it an ROV. The purpose was to scan the ocean floor for microplastics. My most recent work that I've done is I created a simulation model that uses artificial intelligence in order to actually predict where the microplastics are located. It's my theory that microplastics, based on different kinds of environmental factors like um, current movements or things like that, they'll all gather in certain areas that I call the great underwater microplastic patches or the gumps. And so the purpose of my simulation model was just to find these gumps and find the most likely areas where there might be either the most plastics or the most toxic plastics. My book is called Microplastics in Me. I sort of share my journey through uh, developing my remotely operated via Vehicle and how I learned to gain the information that was necessary for me to uh, really develop something that would actually work and would be able to identify microplastics. While just sharing information is pretty important, I think that the most important thing that anybody can do is just really taking that first step, like doing beach cleanups, reducing the amount of plastics in their lives, and it can slowly build up until almost everyone is doing it. The issue of climate change and the issue of plastic pollution are things that are actually really starting to affect us now. We're sort of at the tipping point between like if these problems are really going to devastate the entire world. And so I think that if there's any time to act, it would be right now. Just even make a small change. That's really the first step is really the most important part.